Welcome to Family Friendly Foods. Today we're doing boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Okay, we're going to make some chicken salad. You know, mm. the good kind with the grapes and all that. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that Great too. Great in summer. You know what though? Oh, well, yeah, any, I mean, I see a grape and it's like a potato chip. <laughs> That's better than a potato chip. Well, I know. So This we're... is one chicken breast. It weighs almost a pound. Now that's ridiculous. And that's, I'm going to cut it in half. And I want y'all to watch me do it. First, I'm gonna put my hand on top, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna press down so hard, I can't get the knife through it. Oh, okay, that's okay. the first trick. That's the first trick. And I'm just gonna saw, and I'm gonna start opening it up like a book, and open it up, and Would open it up. Would we do this up. with any size chicken breast, or just one that's a pound? Any of them. Okay. And because we want it to be thinner so it will cook right, better? Right, right, okay. exactly. Now, because we're fooling with chicken, chicken. I'm going to go wash my hands, mm -hmm. and if you'll help me, we're going to set up our little station. Okay? Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay, so Kirby, the chicken breast I just cut in half, we're going to poach. Poach? I've never poach, done that. Well, a lot of people have it, mm -hmm. and it makes for a really moist chicken, and if you're making chicken salad, you don't want to dry it out. And no, absolutely it. not. Um, but you want to season your water with and any herbs. I've got some fresh thyme I got out of my yard, believe it or not. This is a piece of parsley. If you would put the garlic in. Do I need to cut it up? Nope. Wow. All right. So we're just going to put this garlic right in here, these big chunks. And I'm going to add a little pepper. And then I'm even going to add some Italian seasoning. Oh, even that. You're a crazy today. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to turn oh, this on. Yep. And we don't have to use a little cooking <laughs> mechanism like this at home. We can use our actual... No, oven. yes, you please use your stove. Okay. Now, the scoop stove. here, I'm going to let this come up to a simmer. Okay. Then I'm going to put the chicken breast in it. The deal is, we don't want it to boil. That's what you don't want to do. The meat just seizes up because it's muscle. A lot of it's muscle. So we're just going to get it hot, but not boiling. Right. Warm. Simmering where you see Simmer. those little bubbles. Okay. And if you would cut up the celery. Okay, I have two celery sticks here. I'm gonna yeah, cut. if you'll cut all that up. And then we're going to need some um, grapes cut in half. I can do all of that. I know you can. When you're cutting this, and you'll see, She's not making anything any bigger than a half a grape. So I'm going like this now? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, these knives are so nice and sharp. Well, I hope so. So he's... You can cut them a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, they say a watching pot never boils. <laughs> They're not kidding. But so most people don't. Most regular people... I'm considering myself a regular person. Well, yes, you are. You're a chef. Okay. But most regular people do not poach chicken at home. No. Um, do you know uh, what, Nancy? At, Chef Nancy? At least 10 of those cut ten in of half. These. Well, when I was growing up, you know, I've told you before that my family ate like very low fat food, right. way ahead of their time. And all of our chicken was poached like this. And I, I thought we were just doing it because my parents were kind of radical. And it, <laughs> but it was, it was much, it wasn't like they were ever using oil or anything. No. So it was healthy. Yes, it's a, right, you're not using oil. This is the first time I've had poached chicken in 30 years. And when we eat protein, what does it build in our bodies? Muscles. Protein. Muscle, yep. This is a paper plate. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Oops. I'll take I that. No, I'll I gotta wash my hands. All right, okay. Now. How long does this take? I didn't ever pay attention to my mom when I was growing up. Well, first. until it's done. Okay. So first, you're gonna do this and when I put something cold in it, it goes back down. The temperature does. So it's, the temperature's got to come back up. Okay. And it's going to start turning white everywhere. See how but, it's covered? But, oh with yeah, the already liquid. starting to. But roughly, what are we talking here? Oh, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. We have a... So while that's doing that, mm -hmm. 
we can take a break. All right. Maybe, would you like a grape while we take a break? Yes. Okay, the chicken is poached. Poached is the chicken. All right. And, oh, look at all those. Oh, I love grapes. These grapes are going to be good. And I'm going to have you slice and dice. Okay, okay I'm going to dice, dice up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Is that correct? Absolutely. All right. It's already and looking maybe good. Maybe I might help you a little, but I, I mean, I don't know. You want it a little bit skinnier than that because if you put it on bread... Ah. It'll, it'll, it'll fall tough. off. All right, cooks well. All right, now you want that to even be smaller. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to come back in. I usually come in like two or three times. I'm not very efficient with my time. Well, as long me, as you get it done, could sister. Could take me hours to prepare this, but if I was watching a Netflix episode of something, it wouldn't matter. Well, you, you really like Netflix, don't you? Well, there's a great series on there right now, which I'm going to tell you about. Okay. It's called Losers. Now, Why are you telling me about <laughs> Losers? <laughs> I'd like to know. I'm going to cut off some of the fat. Okay. I, I don't like touching fat with my mouth. Oh. All right. Now let that cool for just a little bit. All right. Resting. And we can go on and throw the uh, walnuts, walnuts in. The whole bag? Yeah. It, this is a 2.25 ounce bag of walnuts. And Which then, here, does someone see if you have look those? what I've got. What is this? Something delicious. It's <gasps> Madras curry smell? powder. I wish you could that smell again, this. I got at uh, Value, Value Market. Market. And curry powder is, oh. smell the turmeric in it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, turmeric, they talk about, oh, everybody's talking about turmeric. You know, it'll cure this. It really, really? does help with arthritis. It does. Absolutely. I use it because when I run a lot, my, I'll be sore. Right. And if I drink turmeric hot tea, it I, helps. This stuff is like one maybe. of the new things. Maybe like, it's all my Like mind, what we were talking about, about the uh, cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower. Everything's cauliflower now. Everything. The cauliflower pizza crust, I really don't recommend. Is it? What's it like? Oh, it's um, kind of like eating white bread. Oh, oh like yeah. Wonder Bread? Yeah. All right, now let's put that in there. All right, you'd like me to use this little... Well, isn't that easier? Well, yeah, it looks like something, though, that you use to... It's a scraper. Oh, it's a scraper? It's a bench for your scraper. Window, for your windshield? Only Kirby would say that. I mean, a bench... Oh, it says it's for food. <laughs> oh, God, Kirby. <laughs> it's not for my windshield. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> It's to pick food up without touching it. Oh, I see. Well, oh, oh I... God, I love you. <laughs> oh, no. Well, here is a rubber spatula okay. and mayonnaise. And I just use plain mayonnaise. You can put some sour cream in it, too. Oh, but a... I'm going to put about a little bit more than a teaspoon of curry on there. All right. And it depends on the curry you buy, how long it's been open, whatever, how much you really want to use. So let's... Let's get that mayonnaise in there. How much do you want? Stir it up. Well, you've made, you have made chicken salad before. Oh. Please tell me you have. That's a good amount. I have, actually. I've done it almost like this, but I've also put in, um, I didn't have the curry on it, which I think is going to make it much better. But I also use poppy seeds. Well, I've used tarragon in it, but a lot of people don't like that. Now, here are some onions. I have really minced up. Okay. That we're going to put These in. Are well it. done. So we don't get a big old hunk of onion. So mince up the onions. Yeah, and it's about if you made a slice of onion. Okay. You know, well, you can put as good. much in as you want. Now let's see what we've got here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look, Kirby. Have a taste. See if I mixed correctly. Is that enough mayonnaise? I'm not. Oh yeah. I don't. I'm not a fan of a lot of mayonnaise, so... Oh, what are you adding that on for? It's pepper. Just needed some more oomph? Yeah. Okay. I'm not adding salt. Okay. We had enough salt. Okay. Some people may want it, but... Not and us. if you eat it on crackers, crackers have salt. I hope I cut this I chicken think up you small did. enough. Yeah. So, now what's going to happen is I'm going to get us each fork. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. 
You didn't say you were starving today. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm this makes all the difference. I don't think it has just enough in it, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's a little more. No. Well, let's refrigerate it. All right, let's refrigerate it. <clears throat> and we, we're going to we have this. Later? Later. Okay. I'm okay. Now, next thing we're going to do, and we're going to set it up, we're making chicken quesadillas. All right, so another boneless chicken breast recipe. Absolutely. Okay, Curb, we're going to make quesadillas. One of my favorite things to Well, have. you know, and again, boneless, skinless chicken mm -hmm. breasts. Now, what I did with these, yes. Kirby, I sauteed them. But you see all the color on them? These do not look like my boneless chicken breasts. They look... I have a little thing here. Okay, this is a uh, trick. A tablespoon of chili powder. Okay. A teaspoon of oregano. Okay. And a teaspoon, or maybe more, of garlic. Okay. And that's what I put on the chicken breast. Ah, so you just Add mix it little, up at home. I just fix it up and see now I'll have it for Perfect. some more. Fantastic. We're going to make the biggest one in the world. So I'm sauteing this while you're cutting that into strips. Could I ask a question? Well, I hope so. So when you put that rub, I'm going to call this a rub because that sounds like That's, I know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> um, well, it is. So when you put that rub on it, did you cook the chicken first or did you cook the chicken while it was? I put on it on there and then cooked the chicken. Excuse me. So is this how you like them in little strips? Yeah. That makes it easy for us. You know, I lived down in Texas for 10 years, so I feel like I this is kind of my your forte, my go-to food. Well, not that I never made any of it, but I ate a lot of it in restaurants. <laughs> now I'm going to cut these in half because I wouldn't have that big okay. of a strip. Okay. All right, these are almost. I like. Let me ask this you. This is don't quick. You, don't you like a little crunch? I love a little crunch. I don't okay. like things mushy. Okay. Well, then I'm going to take these out. All right. Because the onions. Are nice and ooh, those are nice looking onions. Now I'm going to show y'all the way I like to make these. I only do one at a time. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Well, come on out, because I got to use you again. So you flipped it. You did use enough oil in there that there's a bit left. So it, maybe it's a little bit uh, seasoned from your onions. Yes. Uh -huh. Now what we're going to do? I'm going to move this here this out of our way. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one. One only. And I'm going to sit it down, and I'm just going to put stuff on half of it. Mm. If you will get the cheese, Miss Kirby. Sure. And if you wanted to use, like, pickled jalapeno, you know, jalapenos out of a jar, mm -hmm. you can or not. So you're just putting this on half. I yeah. think I know why, but... And a quesadilla is, this looks a little bit like a fajita at this moment. However, right. what's going to make a difference is this. Cheese. Sprinkle and it? you can use, yeah, you can use whatever kind of cheese you want just so it melts. I was going to get some uh, queso fresco, which is Mexican, mm -hmm. but I didn't. But you didn't. Well, it doesn't have as much flavor. All right, now, what I'm going to do is see, I'm going to do this over like this. Reason I fold it over like this, it makes it easier to turn because when you got the whole one and you flip it, the mm. stuff comes out the sides and then you got to clean the pan up. It's a mess. You know, this is something you could do with kids. This is not this oh, is like absolutely. assembly. I like it. Absolutely. See, and when you turn it, you hold it together ah. like that and you turn it and it's just swell. And you just let it get brown on that side. Can you put it in there? I can. Thank you, ma'am. All right, we've got two of them going. We're going to get two plates. Kirby, if you could get the plates, I'm going to watch these. Fantastic. Now, see how brown that's getting? Mm -hmm. Because of carryover heat, okay. I went on and turned it off. I think we could cut those in half. Nobody. That's what I was going to suggest. I don't think anybody can eat that much. And I'll leave much. this one in for just a minute. You know we could eat that. Go rock. You yeah, rock it. it. You and I know we would eat this And much, look how good that looks. These are fantastic. Yes. Okay. Let me take this. this one out so it doesn't burn. Mm. And I'm going to sit that one here. Chef Nancy, you've done it again. 
You ready? Ready for that. Wait a minute. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I did it again. What? I didn't take a TV bite. Right, you have to be small mm. and act like you're eating. Oh, you all, these are so good. You go in big, but you only take a tiny bit. Mm. Thanks, Kirby. These are really great. I'm going to make these tonight for dinner. There you go. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We'll be back in a minute. Now I'm going to show you how to make a pan sauce. What we're going to do is I'm going to saute the chicken and then we've got some stuff to add to the, to the uh, pan. And this is the way we do it in a restaurant. The only thing I think I see missing from this for the what? pan sauce is a pan. I know. It's behind me. I got it, sister. All right. But first, I'm going to dredge these chicken breasts. Oh, okay. And you can put whatever you want. I'm going to use thyme because I love thyme with chicken. And you're going to spread it across the top. And, of course, you have to have garlic powder. As Kirby and I say, there's no that such thing as too much garlic. Absolutely. Now this is a granulated garlic and I like that. And I'm going to add some salt. And I like knowing that about the thyme because I always think of rosemary, but... Oh yeah, you, rosemary would be good. I'm glad you gave the... T well, I'm going to try thyme from now on. All right, now I've got this and I want to stir it up. Okay, see how I'm doing? Because I want to make sure all this gets on all the chicken. And in case you're wondering why we're using a lot of paper plates today, there's a very scientific reason. Explain it. We don't want to have to wash <laughs> the regular well, plates. That and salmonella. It's, yeah, chicken. All right, now I need to know if this has any flavor. And the answer is? Yep. It does. All right. You always taste your dredge. Now I'm going to get my saute pan right here. All right. Ah, and here comes the part of the pan sauce that. The most important ingredient for the pan, pan sauce, sauce is, the pan. is the pan. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to saute these chicken breasts. And I've got oil in there, and it may seem to be a little bit too much, but I'm going to make a roux. Oh, I'll just leave that on there. It'll melt. So this is the dredging part. Yes. And part of this dredge will help to thicken this as much as anything else. Now, see how... I'm getting it everywhere, sister. Yes. Now, I'm going to take it. It's on me. But it's oh. all right. I don't mind. Oh, okay, fine. What's this? Cooking show. Oh, it's oh. ready. And you're looking, yeah. So See, you, once it's it sizzling. Says, sizzling. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to. Now, I had to cut this chicken breast in half long ways, too. Because it was such a huge breast. Yeah. And, I mean, mm -hmm. look at this. This is enough for. It's ridiculous. It really is. Actually, it's sad. Because? Because it didn't get that way without help. Well, I know. And it could be because of hormones. Well, I was thinking about that, but I thought, mm, I don't know. Okay. While Let's that's going, oh, leave that there. I may need yes, more of it. Yes, you may need more. If so you would start cutting up the mushrooms sure. and the garlic, I've already gotten the uh, onions. What we're going to do is we're going to cook this. And if it doesn't cook quite all the way through, that's fine. Because after it cooks, we're going to put it back in the sauce. We're going to take it out when we make the sauce. Oh, the roux? The, well, the roux is equal parts fat and flour. Okay. And that's what will thicken the sauce. The sauce we're going to make with chicken stock and one okay. of these. Now, when do I turn these? Well, when they start cooking around the edges. Now, another thing you can do is cover this if you want, but I've got Kirby. If I didn't, I would be doing that while I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. So it balances out. And I'm and, very expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're really expensive. Ooh. What? Ooh. Oh, that pop on you? You have your chef's jacket on. Yes, I do. I think you we do noticed. need a top. Yeah, it's lights on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like it very much. Yeah. See, you always hold on to the pan when you turn something. Safety first in this kitchen. 
Absolutely. Now. And I guess I used three um, sections of garlic here, so. Yeah, three cloves. Three cloves. Yes. Now, right. I, I'm not trying to, you know, I love Kirby. But are these too thick? Hey, do you think maybe we could do it a little better than that? Huh? What about, oh, that one's coming apart. So here's my thought process. <laughs> yes, tell me what it is. My feeling is that when this gets into the pan, it's going to come apart anyway. Not necessarily. But not necessarily. Just now, be... I want you to see how thick, even though I cut this in half, yeah, this chicken breast still is. Step back here a little bit because it's... Look, look, it's still... So you're going to cut it in half again? Well, it's so big. You don't want to eat all that on no. your plate. So I'm going to open it up. And this is called butterfly. Butterfly. And I'm going to add a little bit more flour to give flavor here. Oh, I'm glad I didn't throw that out then. You're um, right. Absolutely. I see now. Wonderful. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm going to flip it over and let it cook on the inside. This one should be in pretty good shape. So what we're going to do after this cooks a little bit more, I'm going to put it on that on a clean plate. plate. Now it would be okay. We we don't have to wash this either. No. You know, nobody volunteers to do our dishes, and I'm starting to take a personal. Aren't you? I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. I mean, the, see how pretty when that is. When we make it into the big time, we'll have assistance. Uh huh. But for right now. I'm your assistant. Well, ooh. All right. Now, I'm going to put I, that there. See I, how tender that is? Yeah. That's yeah, a, see? That's a yeah, tender yeah, piece that's a of tender chicken. Piece. Now, Where are you off to? I'm off to oh, sit the there, roux. there. Time to make the roux. Now, I'm going to use this and turn this off. Mm -hmm. Because, see how hot that is? Yeah, so I'm standing back here. Well, good. Now, I need, I've got oil. Yes. But I need a little bit more flour, and okay. I have a spoon right mm -hmm. there. Okay. And I'm going to take it, and I'll toss it in this oil. Now, if you'll notice, the crumbs in that in here are dark. Tasty. So it's going to give it a dark sauce. Okay. And I'm just doing this right now to get it going. So we're thickening up the... We're going to ready to thick up, but I want to put these... Yes. In here right now. Everything? Yeah. Did, 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 did. Can't you pick the cutting board up? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about. It. Where's that little I, windshield I don't know. scraper? You lost it. Here. here it scrape is. it here in it here. Here it is. Here it is. Here. Please grab the windshield wiper. The windshield scraper. The windshield scraper. This is our sauce then. This our is sauce. our sauce. It's going to be our pan sauce in a minute. Now, I also want some onions. We've got to have some onions. Okay. I'm going to saute it a little to give it some flavor. And you owe me because I cut the onions. You did. And also, you always remind me that it's important to get everything chopped up ahead of time, time rather than doing it as we're cooking. So that it's, this, it's, like this, this pan sauce seems like it would not work correctly, come together correctly, if, if I, I suddenly had to stop and cut up Cut the everything. Um, and one who took French for as many years as you did, <laughs> that's called... In, in the... Incroyable? That's incredible. Oh, well, no, that's not what it's called. <laughs> but thank you for calling me incredible. Oui. Uh, it's called mise en place. Oh, mise en place. Things in their place. Ah. Well, and I'll apparently see. my seven years of French did not pay off, because I don't remember that at all. Well, you know what place <laughs> is. Mise en place. Things are cooked, so I'm going to start to deglaze. Okay. I'm going to start with some white wine. If you don't want to use wine, just add a little bit more chicken stock. What does that mean to deglaze? I don't know. Uh, what... You saw that good stuff in the bottom? Yes, yes. That's what I'm getting up. Oh, so you're bringing, this will bring it up. Right. See, it's not on the bottom anymore. See, the bottom looks mm -hmm. clean. And the nice thing about that tiny, tiny bottle of wine is... I don't use... open up a whole one. Because otherwise you would drink the rest of it. Well, that's true. This is my chicken stock. Okay. And the recipe calls for one can. Mm -hmm. And one can is about one and three quarter cups. So, 
that's what I've got. Are we going to try to boil this all down, simmer it up? No, it, it doesn't need to be reduced much. Okay. We are going to bring it up to a boil, and we're going to check our thickness. And then uh, we're going to put our chicken breasts back in and let them heat up in here. Oh, lovely. Because they've been sitting out and they're not hot. Now, what would happen if I put a big lump of this in there? It would make it thicker. It would lump up. And as it's getting thicker, it would lump up. No, when you put it in, it'd be a big lump. Ah, oh, like a dumpling. Yes, exactly, like a dumpling. And it's just going to be bad news bears. Now, see, so I'll we, show you. See how I had flour oh, on yeah, there? Oh, yeah, yeah, See how it gummed up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so All we right. don't want to do that anymore. No. And so what, I was about to suggest that you put some more flour in there. Well, we won't need to in a minute. I'm going to put my chicken breast back in there. That little piece of it. So now how long is this going to stay in there? This will stay in there for just a couple minutes. And, and while we're letting that do that, yes, we're going to get two plates. Now, I tell you what, let's do this. Do you think we can just share a piece right now? I think that's a good idea. Uh, this sauce left over yes. is amazing. I put it on some whole Over wheat bread. Rice. Oh, rice. Too. I did it last night with wild rice. Mm -hmm. So mm. this is amazing. Mm. What do you think? That is restaurant quality. We did all kinds of chicken breasts today. Mm -hmm. And we had a good time. And you know what? You didn't I was just saying. bone anything. I loved it. We could make soup out of this, a vegetable soup. Well, let's do some soups in our next round of recipes. Well, that's an idea. Oh, I took too big of a bite again. Thanks, Nance. Thanks, Carby.